Whenever you are creating UI and UX design, it is a good idea to check out for some inspiration from the web. In Figma, not only you can look for inspirational designs, you can even use them as a starting point for your project. And what's more awesome with Figma is they recently added a community section to their design application. And it is very useful. Before the community section, Figma had a plugins page, but there was no page to find templates. You just had to go online and then from there, you'd be able to duplicate a template that someone else had made into your own files. But now they centralized everything into the app and you can see that over here. And there's a ton of files and templates and plugins shared by the community, which is awesome. Hence the community tab. You can also see here that there are some suggested templates. And if you want to see more, you can click this see all button here and you will be able to see more templates. You'll notice that they are categorized and if you're looking for a certain type of template, you can just type that in here on the search box. But the templates here are limited. We'll check out more in the community. So with that said, let me just cancel that and I'll click this community tab here. And on this page, you can see we have different categories than what we have earlier. And if you scroll down, you will see the trending templates that most people use in life. So let's uh, just check out some um, templates here for web. We can just uh, click on the web category here. And Figma will present us a couple of templates from the community. So let me just try this one out. Just um, use this template. So just um, click it and that will open uh, the information about that template. And you can even see the preview of that template here. And at that point, all you have to do is click this um, get a copy button. And you can see beside that, there's a number of people who copied this template already. And we also have the heart icon here, which um, represents the people who like this template. So once you click that, Figma will just process the duplication of the project. And once that's done, it will load on your screen. Phew! Look at all of those design and data. On a new user's perspective, it is pretty overwhelming. Welcome to the world of user interface and user experience design. But don't worry, you will eventually get the hang of it. Once you've experienced doing it from scratch, you will notice that you have a lot going on already on your project after some time of working on it. So on the left panel, you can access the elements, components, layers, and assets of the template. And from there, you can do some modifications if you want to. All right, so let me just um, close this one out and uh, let's go back to the community templates here. So let me share to you some um, useful ones that I've discovered from someone that might be useful for your project. So let me just type here on the search box, Figma iOS UI kit. And um, let's just um, scroll a bit here. There you go. So we can see it here. So it is free as you can see over here. So you can just double click into it. And then again, from here, you'll be able to actually see a preview of it if you want, you can actually go ahead and duplicate this again. So you can open it up on your own files. The reason why I like this particular file is that it has a lot of common design and concepts and the UI that we see from Apple. And most of it is um, kind of a matches the Apple's um, user interface guidelines, which is what you want when you're developing an app for the iPhone. Awesome, right? And from here, you can definitely use some of their resources in your own files. They even have access to the font, so you can download the Apple fonts to be able to actually open this file. So the navigation bars, and um, there's really a bunch of other stuff that is pretty useful when you're designing an iPhone app. Awesome. Let me just go back again, and um, let's search material theming here. Then we'll just um, scroll down a bit. And um, it's actually this one right here. 
Again, this is similar to the iOS template or the file, but um, this one is for Android. So if you want to design an Android app, you'll be able to use this as a good starting point. So you can see that they have a getting starting page, all you need to know to ultimately utilize this template. But then just be aware that this template that I find useful is what I find the best as of the recording of this video. Of course, there will be new ones as iOS and Android keeps updating. But you can just look at the designers behind this template and uh, follow them as they tend to release new designs whenever there is a new update. So there you have it. Creating user interface and user experience design has never been easy with the use of templates here inside of Figma. But in order to fully utilize each of these templates, we need to understand how everything works inside the program. And that's what we're going to learn on the upcoming videos.